Usually a spy genre in, in, in Bollywood is a big film. Big high stakes chases and action and style and songs and dance. So we thought, what if we take that genre and make it very grounded to, to like imagine what would James what would Indian James Bond be? Correct. Hmm. That was the original idea. One advice you you think he, people should learn, all the actors learn from Manoj. Agar kis you actor dekh rahe hain, jinko actor banna hai, jinko Bollywood mein aana hai, aapko kya advice dena hai actors ko, aspiring actor ko? What do you think? How do you select actors? Your audition process. What do you see in acting? Hit. Right. What is this hit formula? Every time you come up with a new series and it's a hit. What is this hit formula? All new actors. Did you cast for it, by? No, I didn't do you it. You didn't, no? Okay, surprising. <laughs> Oh, because it's very well cast. I'll take the credit, okay. <laughs> it was very well cast. Hello and welcome back to my show, The Bombay Dream with Mukesh Chhabra. In this show, I will bring you to the director of this show, where we will talk about the casting process and how we are going to choose an actor for a role. Today, my show is my favorite director duo, whose name is Raj and DK, who make many other films, make many other shows, which have made in the family of one, two, Farzi and Citizen India, and are going to make many other shows. So please welcome my favorite duo, director Raj and DK. Thank you for having us. Thank you, bye. Thank you. Take care. Come here. LG OLED presents The Bombay Dream with Mukesh Chhabra. First of all, I know that how did you get to the first time? I want to know this first. Many people ask about the films and the shows, but how did you get to the first time? So you're going to start this interview there. There. Oh my God, it's going to take a long, wrong road then. No, we both went to engineering college together. Hmm. So, Tirupati, mein, Andhra Pradesh. So we were both in engineering college together. Uh, same same year, same, you know, different branches, but same year. So we kind of met there uh, because you spent four years in engineering college and you know everybody. And then we started, <clears throat> we became a team in various cultural activities like, uh, like uh, some quizzes and stuff, you know, we were yeah, quizzes, like a quiz team. Really? Actually, quiz members, yeah, quiz uh, partners first. Yeah, movie quizzes and music quizzes especially. Then you became friends. Huh? You became friends, then became close no, friends. Through that, through like the that's process. what it was. We were friends yeah. and quiz mates, and we were traveling, we were touring different colleges, festivals, things like that. So that's what our initial interactions were. How nice. This is the Kamal's story because many people don't know. Everyone thinks where is the Rajan Dike, 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 but thank God we we would we've been there for so long together. क्या क्या challenges face करने पड़े जब आप industry में आए थे पहली बार आपको क्या लगता था industry के बारे में क्योंकि आपको तो मालूम नहीं था you just came to this industry. Yeah yeah like I can say complete outsiders थे मतलब I'll tell you what forget the industry neither of us know Hindi very well at least at that point अभी थोड़ा बहुत सीख लिया हम and never been in Bombay before. Really? So forget about that. So yeah. never been in Bombay before. We are from Andhra Pradesh. Uh, went to the U.S. of course, and then came back to came to Bombay from the U.S. Knowing nobody here, knowing nobody in the industry, nothing. What's funny is that we made a, a film in the U.S. together, not knowing how to make a film, or not knowing what to do with a film. You just make it with friends. They gave some money. We put some money in and made a film. And we didn't even know what to do. We, like we don't know how, how to write a story, none of this. So we're writing and figuring and shooting. Still want to make it complicated. And no actors there. You know, people here will think like, what the hell? There's so many are here. <laughs> At that point, uh, nobody. So we're casting people who are semi-actors, amateurs. Somebody who said I did a school play. So we did a film together. Or somebody has a dream of being an actor. So mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was like doing that, that and we like you, like you had a dream to become a director. Same, exactly. And we yeah, we yeah. made it so with I, like I a can tell you that when we made our first film in the U.S., mm. it's our first film, and we had a crew of ADs and other actors. ADs, no, one AD. ADs, no, okay, one two. A di had... direction team ka do three naam hai, waisa hai, and we were the most experienced people. So like, imagine that. Like everybody was, in, everybody was doing like a part-time thing. So with like a yeah. eight-member team, we made a film. Now what I was trying to say is that once we made it, 
The first time I came to Bombay was to carrying those film cans of that film to uh, premiere in India, uh, part of Mami. So we all three of us were like carrying two two reels each. That was our carry on. Then we came in that. Way. That was the first time I landed in Bombay. <laughs> what an interesting story and inspiring story for other filmmakers who are listening, who want to be like you. Now everybody wants to work with you. They want to assist you. I keep meeting so many filmmakers. They all want to assist you. ये तो पता है अब मेरे ऑफिस में आते हैं राइटिंग किसको पास जाना है राजन डी के डायरेक्शन में किसको असिस्ट करना है ओटीटी टी में राजन डी के अब कैसे सबको कमेंडेट करें इफ यू गैस टेल मी फैमिली वाज ऑलवेज जो इट वाज ऑलवेज इन योर माइंड फर्स्ट शो यू वांट टू स्टार्ट विद दिस या उससे पहले कुछ और दिमाग में था फैमिली मैन वी माइट हैव अदर आइडियाज बट फैमिली मैन एज अ कांसेप्ट वी न्यू दैट इट वुड मेक एन अमेजिंग सीरीज सो लाइक इवन बिफोर सीरीज केम वी एंड वी हैड द आईडिया वी नेवर थॉट इसको टू आवर मूवी बना के बनाएंगे वी इवन ट्राइड टू लाइक समबडी आस्क सम बिग स्टार आस्क सेइंग लाइक वी हैव अ फिल्म वी ट्राइड टू फिट इट इन अ इन अ फीचर फिल्म फॉर्म thing it would have worked yeah. but it was there was so much more to say it was such it a, been a franchise setting. of feature films yeah it would have been a franchise <laughs> yeah. so yeah that was uh, um that idea fascinated us a lot it was uh, like i said like uh, usually i've told this before the seed of the idea is from a train journey i had as a kid with my uncle who was a who was a intelligence officer at that point imagine so it's like we're going in a train and he we used he used to play you know somebody asked him what do you do and he's just gabbing he just like he's just saying nonsense he said I'm the shoe salesman and I'm like you're not a shoe salesman I'm looking at my uncle and he's making up a story and then he was so interested and he said uncle what do you do what did you do why did you lie and he said like that's what intelligence officers do we don't reveal stuff he wasn't on a high profile case or anything it was just a regular job So I see this regular man doing all these things. Yet there's something special, the job-wise. So we thought, why not take a genre that we know of in the, you know, in our. It's a usually a spy genre in 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 Bollywood is a big film, big high stakes chases and action and style and songs and dance. So we thought, what if we take that genre and make it very grounded, put the guy in chambur, give him a scooter. you know make it like that so suddenly there was a fascinating idea to uh, shift a genre to, yeah, to like imagine what would james what would indian james bond be correct hmm. that was the original idea the very important part jo mujhe my my favorite part casting process of family man i want to know from you because it's such an interesting story aap kaise aise character likhte ho ki jisko cast karne mein itna maza aata hai how do you think how do you cast all these people what's your idea See, the family man. The one of the core principles we started off with was saying, "See, now we are making a show that's going to be watched all over the country. So we wanted to <clears throat> have a pan India cast for it, which is why the from the concept itself, the story itself starts off with, uh, say, per, like Sri Kanthiwari from UP with a Tamilian wife and uh, his friend is a Maharashtrian, and uh, there are various characters from all over the country." That was the easy part that of writing. That was the exciting it. part for us. One of the exciting parts for us for doing a series is that the fact that we could cast. We suddenly thought it wasn't like that before, right? Movies. Everybody needs to know Hindi, and it has to be in this pool of people that we cast from. Like we've done a bunch of movies, and you know that. So one of the liberating ideas that we had was, what if? Why don't we just go all over the country, like a pan India casting? So characters wise also we started writing organically different uh, people from different languages and regions and that was one of the exciting ones for us you know that was a uh, that was one of the freedom we uh, freedoms we got in in OTT in in a series format we because there is subtitles now so we can get malayalam telugu tamil anybody for this matter so very first series very first scene we start out off with non hindi scene just because there's so much so much in in the country to offer and the pool suddenly becomes huge number of brilliant actors around the country so that was the that's where mukesh abra comes in correct <laughs> so once you give him the script now we are like i remember this telling you right let's let's cast authentically like correct don't get me one andhra person and say we'll be like malayali nothing like that let's get authentic and tamils and telugu everybody let them from speak their language cast exactly and the number of auditions of people you must have done is like yeah and that was also new for us also the family my one of my first ott show 
first and then so I was also very new to understand the format kya hai. Itne sare actor hai. Did you even have an office then at that time in the south or did Hai. you like have to go there and start? Yes, we went there, we auditioned and we hired a place, we started auditioning there. It was a great experience. Yeah. And let's talk about Manoj Bajpi, then we'll move into Farzi. Let's tell me how experience with Manoj and you know, his, everyone knows a great actor. Tell me from your, your story. Uh, we have never worked with Manoj, right? Yeah. So it's never even met him. Right, never knew him, never met him, nothing. And uh, and the whole idea, see what the, sh the the shape of the family man would have changed, depending on who the lead was. Pakka. We actually, I still remember the English version. We write in English first, and then we tra we think Telugu, write English, translate to Hindi, so it works in a it's very triple work. Uh, yeah, be no, because uh, it flows better. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not like I'm writing great English that is. You know, tough yeah. to adapt. It won't read like an English script, even though it's an English language. It shouldn't read like a Hollywood script. Yeah, so it, it feels read local. Like an script. Uh, so it, I remember that the English script where it would have, if I had put an a, any other actor, it would have changed the way it looked. It's not every film is like that. I feel not every story would change dramatically, mm. Mm. but this one did. Once we did put Manoj in, and suddenly I'm looking at the future scenes and tweaking them to fit this because it's working so brilliantly. Correct. I think that's the technique also. Whenever I'm casting for you, you like the actor, you make sure that you add his quality yeah. mm. into the script. That's your greatest. Correct. If he does exactly what's on the page, yes, he's a competent actor. But then there are actors who elevate what's on the page, right? And then bring a new dimension to it. That's that's literally who we are looking for. Oh, for yeah. and, and that was a really good choice when you said that because we write without thinking of an actor. We just write it. And so it took me a bit to see how these scenes will work. And but once it fit in, it started flowing. You know, it started flowing. It started actually tweaking, writing, rewriting quickly. And there was so much more to it. So yeah. Yeah, great. No, I think I think one advice you you think people should learn, all the actors learn from Manoj, newcomer. What do you think? Experience. According to you. Oh, there's one thing though, I mean, see, lot, we work with a lot of good actors now, including Manoj. But the one thing that what Manoj, I think what he does is, behind the scenes, he's, he works with all the other actors in the scene and kind of, gets, kind of gets them on the same page. So when an improv happens, a lot of times we let the, uh, in any case, we let the actors improv, do their own improv. But uh, Manoj, what he does is when he doesn't improv, the others are ready and they kind of, react also in the right kind of a way. So the scene works out a lot better, especially in the case of, say, the kids, for example. Like the, a kid uh, that is, is 10 years old at that point, right? And uh, Driti was like 14 years old. They could be very easily thrown off when the actor says or does something or changes the lines, but they're not. They know how to react also because he's kind of mentally prepped them, saying, bringing them into the scene. So when he adds a line, they also add a line and bring it back to him. So it's a... Even After that, even that, that, that scene when he's abusing, his child is next to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a fantastic scene. And kids were also reacting according to Manoj. Yeah, yeah, no, the kids were brilliant. Again, brilliant kids. I don't know where you got them from, but they were so good. Of course, I remember hundreds of people we, you, you showed and all. Finally, we boiled, you know, it, it boiled down to these two kids. But uh, yeah, uh, you see him quietly, quietly, nah, pretty loudly uh, rehearsing with the, his co-actors. And after a while, we leave it, saying that they're getting ready, let them get ready, let's see what yeah, happens. Now, we don't need to say anything about That's the thing. Let's talk about Farzi. Farzi, how did it happen? Because after family, people are expecting that family will be made three, and suddenly, one more show, and for them, people are expecting what they're doing. Let's see. The, it didn't fit in the feature film format, Farzi. It, it could have. We, we tried our best during uh, earlier time, the earlier time. Because the world again, it's a world building, no? you had mm. a world and so you can make a series out of it, fresh, fleshed out. So as soon as they called, uh, Shahid called uh, during lockdown or sometime and said, let's do something. No? And then immediately it hit us, ki there was no brainer that, you know, because we have this story and it's been sitting there and it can be fleshed out in a different way now. We had already decided to make a series of it, by the way. We had, right? We had, we had. Because uh, I'll tell you something, right? Uh, it was a good follow-up for us, for the, to the Family Man. Huh? That's yeah, right. it was yeah. meant to be our yeah. follow-up after Family Man. It's, uh, we did two seasons of follow-up. So you had decided already that you want to make Farzi Yeah, Farzi and also a there is a them thematic connection between the Family Man and Farzi in our heads as creators. Is that it's, they were both about middle class, the middle class uh, milieu. 
one was a, a middle class husband father struggling to keep, you know hold the marriage together family together and just keep it going and the other was the middle class guy who angsty middle class guy who has talent in him whatever talent it might be and there is no recognition there is no everything else it's yeah, he a system feels he's at a disadvantage there's no opportunities coming his way right so he almost feels like he has to make his own rules you know maybe beat the system that's how so, he feels yeah character. so there are like two two side two sides to this milieu so we wanted to make this to kind of have that you know in our heads it was together like thematically they were connected yeah abhi chalte hai my next segment pe jo hai yaadon ka pitara yaadon ka pitara yaadon ka pitara i'm going to show you kuch aisi picture jo aapki filmon ki hogi you have to tell me ki wo tab kya ho raha tha aapki baaton mein kya ho raha tha just tell me ki kya ho raha tha us time pe yes This is Vijay uh, Sethupati directing Raj. Hey, nice, say lag raha. Vijay is like, sir, I understand what you said, but let me show you something. Let me show you something you like it. I said I, I seem to have liked it. That's why I'm grinning. But uh, what an actor! What right? an actor! What a fine and how happy we were that he agreed to do for us. Yeah, outstanding, yeah, it's man. Crazy. And so yeah, that's what is going on. Vijay has his own idea for every scene, and he looks like he he's just. winging it but he thinks through every scene he works it out in his head and then he has an idea so he'll always say something everything he wants to give a, a touch to it that's why everybody loves him there's a flavor he brings in so that's why i think one south indian actor in all your series needs to be there right it's it's condition so we're from there so we know them we want to work with them so you know yes kya ho raha hai shai is not too happy dk no But um This is a. It was a lockdown. The worst conditions. Everybody had to be masked up. Poor actors were the only ones who could, who were exposed. We shot the whole thing. DK is sitting there with the mask, and the, we made a whole set in Goa, acting like it's Bombay. Mm. So this was that. And what's going on here is that scene, na, where uh, they talk about how much money they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the first oh. episode scene where they are counting all the money they have. Great memory. And realizing he's sick, darwaza will open. Oh. So press ko kaise bachaye? Oh my God. Let's talk about. You this actually thing. got this picture. This is an iconic, iconic picture, picture. My favorite picture. picture. I mean, just it's like us. when do you get to drench people in blood? Shoot on a pretty beach and have humor in it. <laughs> and go crazy, right? I mean, it, this is one of the films where there's like no rules. I mean. Blow people's By the way, heads go, go, go off, and people can fight people, kill people. All all these three girls are supposed to be zombies. They'll they'll become now in this. So DK is telling them how to. They act are like zombies, zombies though. Look at the blood on them, right? They're happy though. They are looking smiling. happy. Smiling. Yeah. You guys are also very happy, smiling. Thick. Look at that. Yeah, because we have to, we have to like actually hose people with blood. There's no time. It is. It's like a chotu picture. Like budget is very tight. Looks big, but we actually had to pump and shh, blood on everyone at the you know to make so yeah. many people. we had training sessions for zombie walk like mm. how do zombies walk because suddenly you have 100 people and, and everybody has their own thing so training them how to walk like zombies was a big part of this production ha huh. mm. season 1 season 1 there is a scene when he goes on his uh, there has to smoke in uh, hiding no it's not season 1 this is a uh, season 2 where where uh, episode 1 where he sits and is uh, thinks about what happened in season 1 Mm, the recap where we finally recap, decide yeah. to show what happened in the factory ending of season one. Yeah, this is where you get a glimpse of uh, where on season top. one ended. And yeah. Do you go back and look at all these pictures now or no? No, so, this is the first picture, time. Picture, no, but yeah, this is a good trip down memory lane. I, that's why I'm jogging my memory to see where was this from, which show, which show. Yeah. I'm thinking. That was the whole idea. Okay, आपको पता तो लगेगा कि कितने साल. Good idea. Good idea. Even we get to recap. This is. We were shooting inside this the car. This is wait. Let me guess. A uh, family man. No, that's not. <laughs> what no, they won some best actor that day, and Manish couldn't make it to the function, so we came and gave it that day to him. Oh yeah, on the yeah, set. yeah, 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 yeah. We not were shooting bad. for season two, yeah. and I mean, then he had won. I was going. People. I was going for more specific than about family man, <laughs> than identifying it as family man. Gentleman, yes. gentleman, gentleman. Yep, Miami, Miami. I think. Miami. Yeah, Miami. Yeah, man, it still reminds me of how fat I used to be. Now you sabo. We were shooting in the war. It was good fun because uh, we, I, uh, yeah. I mean, at the end of it, we wanted to make a like a very popcorn, uh, popcorn film. Yeah. 
and popcorn uh, action film popcorn action film like a fun film so there was a good time it was a good time i remember we actually got darshan from the film found yes, darshan yes, yes. Oh, yeah. that was the first time we worked with darshan darshan ki chalo let's cast him yeah 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 again you cast him yep yeah let's <laughs> talk about the pictures we look at zakir Za- Za- yeah we this is the of course the introduction scene of uh, rashi and even vijay for that matter in the film in a way farzi of course we are watching you know what we are watching on on the phone we are watching a, a trailer of family man 2 correct this no, was this is, yeah the coolest thing about uh, family man season 2 was that we don't have a single picture with samantha without her in her get up Oh yeah. Right, which is why we could never post any of these pictures like during shoot. We could never post it because it's like okay, the you're giving away the look kind of a thing. So this never never in, uh, yeah, never met her before she got into the look or she never stayed back after the, you know, after she Ah uh, yeah, we never saw her before or after the shoot. So we never knew how she looked also by the way. Till Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, I might have been, been surprised if she if she actually walked past me, I would be like, "Yeah, Connie types. Very Samantha types." <laughs> Ah, uh, not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> then, then this is in Manori. Manori. Yeah. We were uh, cheating. Uh, Northern Sri Lanka. She Northern Sri Lanka there. That was really, really, really great. I was good for him. Yeah. Okay, I just want to ask few thing on casting. अगर किसी एक्टर देख रहे हैं जिनको एक्टर बनना है जिनको बॉलीवुड में आना है आपको क्या एडवाइस देना है एक्टर्स को एस्पायरिंग एक्टर को व्हाट डू यू थिंक हाउ डू यू सिलेक्ट एक्टर योर ऑडिशन प्रोसेस व्हाट डू यू सी इन एक्� Like some, because a lot of the actors must be watching this show. Because yeah, this is an important question to answer, DK. You want to take it first, or I do? No, it's very complicated. But see, um, time and again, right? Our goal is to find this one actor who will just shine through, right? Be it Bhuvan Arora in Farzi. That was the toughest casting, right? I mean, all other actors we knew they were already stars, and we knew who we were casting. But the casting of Feroz took the longest. Probably some fifty auditions later, we got him. And uh, similarly for Sharib in Family Man, these are the two examples I can think of where we cast somebody that was, that was for an amazing role that was not already a star, but somebody that could take the role and run away. I think we were looking for uh, a certain kind of a newness or a quirk or something unique that this actor had. See, everybody gets the same pages for auditions; they all do their thing. A lot of times they do. what they think they need to do a lot of time they think what the character should be like the director thinks and everything sometimes they do something that's not what you thought and it goes it kind of goes hey like it goes in a different direction and then you think but this is so good like there is some madness in this in what he did correct that happened to both of these people and if you remember sharif hashmi casting in family man we were look, it was a bengali character we were looking for bengali actors One day you randomly sent this one saying, "Abi, take it. I'm expanding my search. I'm going non-Bengali." And he sent this, and we saw this. I was there. I saw this, and then I sent it to him, and then he saw it. And I was on the sets of three. Yep. And uh, I remember the video coming to me. Raj Kumar was on this side, and Apar was on that side. Abhishek was there. We were taking a break, night shoot, and I was watching these auditions. And then he, he, DK said, "Look at this, but look at this." I think you remember him from Filmistan. Filmistan, yeah. I didn't see Filmistan. I haven't watched it, but I came and I was watching. I said, "Oh, this is pretty cool. I really like this guy." But what to do? Bengali? Should we change it? And then I just showed it to these guys, Raj, who were there. It's like, "Arey sir, close your eyes and take him. It's brilliant." I said, "Okay, done." Yeah. Then I met Sharif and said, "Okay, I want to. I want you to do this role." But obviously we'll have to change the role. So who are you? Where are you from? He said, "Ha, I'm from Bombay, Kai." <laughs> so he ended up becoming a Marathi. So for for people for people who are auditioning, it's a very tough job. My God, this is possibly the most toughest job in the industry is to become an actor. And once you become an actor, to be an actor and not fall off. I can't imagine a tougher position, tougher thing than uh, wanting to be an actor. And there so many things i want to say thinking of what all um self awareness for an actor is very important especially when you're starting out to see who are you who are you which where are you falling in the in the realm of things uh are you kidding yourself in some areas what are your strengths what are your weakness how do i come across i might think i'm looking like this but how do you come across to other people how do you look like so if the sooner they are aware of it 
they can uh, they can start putting their energies in the right kind of roles they can go after and develop that skills to be sh shining in that um, everybody starts coming to say I'm a, I want to be hero I want to be heroine you know right off the bat so the idea is to understand who are you how do you look the self awareness I think is plays a crucial role also makes them work on their craft number two everybody goes after uh, looks Everybody thinks they need to look perfect, they need to get some jobs done on their face or muscles and all this stuff. And for me, this is from my point of view, is that that and everybody hitting the gym and working out, of course, you should do all this stuff. But the biggest thing is to work on the craft. And I think they don't. I think a lot of people don't because you have to socialize, you have to meet people, you have to meet, you know, and get be seen work on your bodies but are you working on your craft and uh, is what is the i feel that the focus shift once you do all these things yeah a lot of people who yeah yeah i mean so many people who meet me also like fresh people i'm not talking about the people who have already been here and already yeah. are have Aspiring some of talent, but fresh people i go to small towns somewhere showing a film or something somebody in lucknow allahabad they'll come and say sir mujhe bombay mein ek actor banna hai mujhe actor banna hai what should i do first my first answer is acting seekho Right, learn acting. Paki sab hoga. Yeah, you learn acting come and, and stand in front of the camera it. and become an actor. I met another actor recently who had come to the office and we were talking and they said, Sir, I'm ready. I've been ready. You know, I've been doing this, this, this. I said, okay. Uh, have you done anything? I said, no, I don't. I don't, haven't done anything, but I'm ready for it. And I said, how do you know you're ready? What did you do to be ready? So I'm saying technology is so, if, so easy these days. You have your phone, shoot stuff make a film with your friends, make a short film with your friends, instead of waiting for uh, opportunities, make your own opportunity. Matt Damon and Ben Affleck did not get enough roles. They both took off, went home, wrote a script, shot it, won an Oscar for it, and became superstars. I'm saying you create your own opportunities. So you make your own shorts, put it out there, put it on YouTube. Insta Reels will do you well, but what if you actually think of something instead of waiting for an opportunity, creating one is another idea mm -hmm. that I think. Suddenly you'll see one YouTube short film or something and you go, oh, the girl looks good. She looks, she looks, she looks, uh, she's acting very naturally. Correct. So these kind of things, quite I think a few. And also for Bhuvan, we saw that one ad. Remember that? Yeah, for Bhuvan, after ad. all these auditions and everything, literally there was this one ad. Bus ke andar conductor. Yeah, 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 it's not it. Uh, 15, yeah, the bus and conductor. Yeah, yeah. From 10, 12 seconds, let's go. Yeah. So, like you said, your quote outside, passport photo is enough sometimes. For us, having watched so many auditions coming from you and others, like watching it, you pretty much know in five seconds how, you know, how this person is. You also get the sense the vibe. Yeah. The yeah. 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 So, it is that. Do you also believe in vibe of person as an actor? Exactly. A lot of, lot of times you meet the person, right? Even when you meet the person, sometimes you get a sense that he or she will work. Or sometimes you think the audition is good only, good only, but if, there is nothing wrong you can point out about, about an audition sometimes. Everything looks correct. I say hoka. Like but you, somehow you feel in, dissatisfied. And then even if you meet a person, sometimes you might get a sense ki, huh, maybe that fire or that vibe or that extra little thing. If you're missing it, for the role, I'm just saying. I mean, they might be good in some other role. This is the audition, is it? Yes. Look at him, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm most of the times, he, he, of course, he did better than this in the uh, film. No, because here he's stuck to a frame, no? No, no. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, he has no movement, nothing. He has to. Yes, also, but a little nervous. Yeah, also nervous. Self, you can nervous. Also, self tape. Yeah. I, if you ask him to please I send audition. Self tape, is it? Yes. Nervous energy is there. But yeah, of course you can still see how, how good he is. His face also. For me, most of the times actors, even stars or whatever, I feel from director's point of view, what I gauge, like in how I know they are good, 
is when they're not talking, like when they're listening to the dialogue, other person's dialogue, before they act. Because 70% of the actors, I feel, are thinking of the next line versus listening to the other actor. Hmm. You can see it in their eyes. They're already anticipating and Anticipating thinking. and just waiting to say, huh, and then you t -t 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 think your next line and saying it versus actually being in the scene. Yeah, unfortunately, in the auditions, it doesn't make it easy because the other person is not an actor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kali uska girlfriend, your brother, your sister, somebody's reading the lines. And they're disinterested. Aray, Feroz, <laughs> they're kar really kar they have, and they're always disinterested. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 mujhe nahi karna hai. So they're doing the worst job of reading, but this guy's pretending like they're acting and then he has to act. Sincere. <laughs> That's why people like Raj Kumar Rao and all, na, wherever he is, even if you know flags are all put and only a close-up of the other guy, and you don't there's no space to put the other actor around. He'll still come running to say, I want to say my lines to him. Yes. That's the commitment he has as a co-actor. That I want to say my lines because I want him to react well to my lines. Not like randomly AD reading it out. Correct. That is why he's Rajkumar Rao, I think. Correct, that is yeah. why he's one of the greatest actors of this country. Yeah, yeah, all, all the, yeah, all these good actors I know, like everybody that we've worked with, have absolutely no problem in just standing with the back to the camera, with the in sole intention of making that person and acting, better. not okay. just saying lines, acting it yeah, out. They act I think it that out. also you guys also make them very comfortable. I realize. Jo ap sab ke saath you bond well with every actor. You hang out with them. You talk to them. You that's also beauty. That's a greatness of your also. I think that it goes to you. Now trust me, I've seen so many actors who just nahi karte. I think on your set, I've seen everyone is ready. I think they're like a family. Yeah, and also I think they get they should be allowed to improve. You figure later in the edit, no? Nah, if, if we know edit, we, we know usually what our edit is. So let them perform, let them interpret these lines better than what they are in the paper. So I think once they have it, they want to do more. Have you ever had a scenario where, uh, like uh, with Shahid or somebody, where we've shot him, and then we've shot uh, the other guy, and this guy's like, yeah, yeah, of course I'll give you my lines, and they're wiping out so much better, and some extra improv lines are coming. So now I'll give you a lot of time, I'll give you a lot of time. Yeah, it happens in many movies. Yeah, it happens like that. So, okay, let's go, good reaction, let me do this also. Then. Yeah, yeah, some extra lines were spoken now, on my back. Now, I'll give you a lot of time. Basically, the commitment is nice there in this example. The fact that you want to do more than what is there and I want to go back to my van. Great. Okay, one more show. Last, I'm really last time. Which is your new show, which everyone is waiting for, Citadel India. About that, because I know I, I can talk about it. I've seen little teaser of that you showed me. I can't wait for that show. You want to talk about that show? Very, very, very excited. Great cast. And of course, Samantha, Varun, and Sikandar, and Saqib. There's so many more people. K.K. Menon. K.K. Menon, man. Yet again, like our lucky Yeah, Simran Bagga. Yeah. Uh, Are you excited for that show, I think? It is the first time we're collaborating with someone. This is first time we're actually not making it like in, it's just us. We're actually collaborating with an international team. So it's actually first time we're actually working with somebody on anything, film or series. It's always been just DK and I and Sita or Suman and that's it. You know, in our own little offices, we write and make it. Yeah. This time we're constantly uh, uh, working with the international teams. They all are excited and of course. And go hit formula, na? Raj and DK hit formula. They make. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Varun and Samantha. I was like, hit formula. No, no. You both have hit formula, na? Raj and DK. Every show hit banana ka kya formula? Acha, tell me the formula. Give some tips, gain to other writer. The the hit formula is that there is no formula. Correct. No, yeah, you have to try to break away from. So we are uh, we are we are kind of going away from our genre. Also, by the way, we are we are consciously not doing a, a series that is that might people might uh, say is is it Rajan DK you know they say na you some some scenes they'll send us or some trailer they'll send of another film saying this looks like your kind of film maybe this is a little more further away maybe uh, this is this is, we went for a uh, uh, proper drama yeah it's like a proper action drama uh, kind of a genre so it's a little different from everything we've done now so it's, it's that's that's why that's that's the reason for us also to do various things right is that whatever we do now it should be completely different from what all we have done till now true. and uh, we are holding that true still yeah i'm excited for varun varun's action varun's act, act proper yeah. action debut i'm like sure he's done action yeah. films in the past but nothing like this no, he's like, like a proper avatar action hero avatar and sam, sam you've seen her in family yeah. man but this is 
ten times. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Ten, yeah. there's like a much wider, much range. bigger, more times that. Yeah. Excited, very yeah. excited. Just two more, Sawan. Just two. Up. बाकी हम सब आपके शो लोग बहुत पसंद करते हैं आप कौन सा शो देख रहे हो टीटी में व्हाट इज द लेटेस्ट गुड वन सक्सेशन इज वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट्स इन अमेरिकन शो सक्सेशन इज गुड द लास्ट ऑफ अस वाज गुड इंडियन शो आई रियली लाइक काला पानी या इवन आई लाइक काला पानी दैट्स वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट शोस ऑफ इट्स रिटन वेरी वेल इट्स रिटन वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड स्टफ वेरी वेरी आई थिंक समीर या या पोशन पर फिल्म में आई डिड ऑल न्यू एक्टर्स अगेन डिड यू कास्ट फॉर इट बाय नो आई डिडंट डू इट ना ओके सरप्राइजिंग आजकल इतने सारे अच्छे अच्छे शो जो ओ टी टी में आ रहे हैं जो आप अपनी फैमिली के साथ देखते हैं लेकिन मजा तब आएगा जब आप घर बैठ कर अपनी फैमिली के साथ उन शोज को एल जी ओलेट फोर के डॉल्बी विदन एटमोस के साथ देखें जो कि एल जी का नया टी वी है कम टू अर लास्ट सेगमेंट कॉल अतरंगी यारी अतरंगी आपकी यारी मेरे साथ है और बाकी लोगों के साथ है जो किसी को नहीं पता okay. तो यारी के बारे में बात कर लेते हैं yeah. तो लेट आई शो यू सम पिक्चर अच्छा अंदर मैं भी होऊंगा बहुत लोग भी होंगे तो मिल देंगे आपकी योर यारी विद दैट्स द बेस्ट पिक्चर ऑफ शाहिद एवर शाहिद कैन बी वेरी गुफी राइट या या ही सो ही कैन बी वेरी सीरियस ही कैन बी वेरी गुफी ये यारी फेवरेट मुझे आई थिंक मैं हमेशा लोगों को बोलता हूं कि जब भी मैं पार्टी में मिलता हूं ना आप लोगों को I'm always with you. I've noticed this. Then I keep making you meet. ये ये है, ये ये है, ये ये है. Raj is here. Yeah, I know. Think. I usually come to Mukesh and say, Mukesh, I have no idea who. I forgot who they are. It's like no, no, no. And he introduces everyone. Yeah, yeah. I'll take you everywhere. We've done so much with Manoj now. So, I mean, he's probably spent more. I mean, I, I don't know about him, but we have spent most of maximum number of shooting days with Manoj only. Yes. Correct. In two seasons of Family Man, and yeah. we keep meeting regularly, and we talk about everything except movies. So that's a good thing, right? I mean, yeah. we don't necessarily. I think you can call him at 3 a.m. Friend, you can call Manoj. He'll pick up your phone at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. We haven't called anyone so far. Yeah. I think I don't. Dike, Try, usually Dike, I'm asleep Dike at that time. He sleeps really soundly through the night. <laughs> so I'm. I don't think I ever call anybody at 3 a.m. I'm already asleep. But you can Unless call. Unless an me. emergency, like, you can call. Me. Me. Basically, Mukesh is saying, "Why didn't you call me?" Why didn't you call me? If you call me at 3 a.m., I think you, I'll think you're in the hospital. Something happened to you. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. Oh. There you go. There you go. That's that's Look, our buddy. I can see the other buddy. Our buddy, yeah. original buddy, where we I went to him and said, I have a film called O Stri Kalana. You want to do it? I said, What is it, sir? And I said, Like four. I said, I want to do it. That's that's a where we started uh, yeah. bonding. Before that, we just knew each other. Yeah. He, yeah. His, he has this favorite story to tell that uh, we auditioned we auditioned him or we considered him for a show in the city, Ooh, and we didn't take him. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. we, didn't, we didn't take him. So he jokes about it, saying, "Mujhe reject kar diya family. I mean, show in the city." What's yes. this? This is Rajkumar Rao's wedding. Basu is looking somewhere else. Madhu. Lot of Madhu. iconic directors in this frame, and then there's Raj. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was good fun. I mean, I rarely go to parties. I rarely go to weddings. This is probably my first. Uh, I one of the very few times I went to a destination wedding. So it was good fun. Farah is hilarious, my yes, God! Yeah. I always make sure I sat next to Farah, so it's always fun. She was here yesterday, and I had so much fun. Yeah. Of course, I also met. Yeah, I also I met Anubhav Sena and Anurag Basu we, for, for the, the first, first time, time here. Yeah, can right? you believe and it? Yeah, I, I mean, I, obviously, I, I might have bumped into them in a party or something, but never actually got to know them or spoke. Yeah, I, I got to know Hansel's IT. He's an IT. He also IT background there. Madhu is a good buddy. He's been he's known us, supported us since almost yeah, the beginning. Before initial, we made our first from the show in the city days and before Madhu Madhu has been a you know friend oh. to us. No, he is a very he has been a rock solid uh, friend to us for a long time. Now he can be a three a.m. guy if you want. Yeah, yeah, Madhu could be. Yes, great. Now see, now you know. There you go. Best friend. Your see, this is a good looking picture. Finally, finally, yeah. All of us were like, ah. so last one. So we thought that it would be better. I know, I know. Finally, so finally, yeah, we at least dressed up. Fine, we have one decent picture. cleaned up and sat for a picture. I really wish that you all, when you are 80 years old, you should remain like this and keep making great family men. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. Ta. No, no. Are you? And many series. 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 And films. And many series. 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 And
I don't know, mind. You're gonna, you're not gonna cast him till he's seventy. Is it, finally, we'll cast him at seventy. Have to wait. Tab tak wait karna padega. See, my thing is, you have a very important job that you do in Bollywood, right? There are so many actors, struggling actors, waiting outside. He doesn't want you to dis. Unke pe pe kyu mar rahe ho? Why do you want to take up a role that somebody else could play? I'm very happy. As long as I'm casting for you, rest of my life, I'm very happy. Now you're doing a Im- very important job, great job, and is one of our like basically our favorite person to call and any time any time we start a show or a film, say Mukesh, what do we do? Who do we cast? What do we go? How does this character look? So, been you've been our three a.m. friend except we are sleep asleep at three a.m. three p.m. friend. Three p.m. friend. And yeah. If if I were awake at three p.m., I'll call you. अब बहुत सारे लोग भी पूछना चाह रहे हैं लोगों ने सुबह हमने डाला था सोशल मीडिया पे कि आप दोनों आ रहे हो तो उनका एक सवाल है कि आप कैसे बैलेंस करते हो न्यू एक्टर और स्टेब्लिश एक्टर के बीच में कास्टिंग हाउ डू यू बैलेंस द कास्ट सी इनिशियली वी वर ऑलवेज अबाउट न्यू एक्टर्स स्पेशली शोर इन द सिटी एंड ऑल दिस कैन थिंग्स एंड वॉट वी टेंट टू डू इज दैट वी टेंट टू मिक्सअप ऑलवेज यू नो एस्टेब्लिश एक्टर्स एंड न्यू एक्टर्स टू मिक्सअप सो दैट it gives space to lot of new people to come in while as an established actor is also making the uh film um uh, viable for a budget but for, so there's a good balance between both sets of actors so yeah we we always love for fresh faces and that's what you help us with one more person asking will you ever make a show with completely new comers and launch so many new comers like manoj bajpayee and shahid kapoor and all you'll have to be very young actors no hmm. right by the time uh, we're launching and making a new set, set of with new actors they'll have to be young actors right they yes. won't be manoj bajpayee by age yet and like a new actor yeah, of course any like no i'd love to it's it's really about the medium yeah but like i said sometimes what happens is uh, uh, that the just the nature of the business is when you cast an already proven actor with a track record you get more visibility better marketing better budgets everything so even for a new actor that is the best thing like instead of me making a show with three newcomers if i took these three newcomers and put in a show with another known actor who is all who, the show is already going to be big it's probably going to benefit these newcomers also even more in a lot of cases that's what happens like the best thing that could have happened to bhuvan arora i mean i'm just speaking out of turn here maybe instead of a show starring bhuvan arora for example him being in farzi and killing that role has done a lot more for him Correct. so there is merit in that also hmm. yeah. yeah that's a very important But yeah, I mean, would love to make with all newcomers too. At the end of it, we just have to get the right cast, right people, great uh, 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 talent together, and we have enough stories to write all kinds of uh, movies and shows. So yeah, I mean, I'd love to do one like that for sure, because it'll just be fresh. It'll be new. It'll be like something that's unexpected, exciting. So we should, we must. Thank you, thank you so much, Raj. Thank you so much, DK. Always. थैंक यू एट ब्रदर यू ऑलवेज सपोर्टेड एंड नाउ फाइनली थैंक यू फॉर दिस आपने इतना कुछ किया और आप इतना कुछ करते हैं हमारे लिए मेरे लिए इतना कुछ करते हैं तो मुझे लगा कि आप इतना कुछ जरूरत पड़ती होगी अब तो मैं चल रहा हूँ एल जी की तरफ से आपको एक बूम बॉक्स देना चाहता हूँ तो थैंक यू सो मच टॉकिंग टू यू फर्स्ट टाइम फर्स्ट टाइम situation like this one uh, we are only discussing casting of nashaka casting Kaan. only discussing casting and stress yeah more option thinking thinking thinking, yeah, thinking. Exactly. this is really fun but thank you so much thank you bhai pleasure